that is Zoya Sugar Company, which has been in ICU, is now in IDU. Uh, we are hoping that eventually it will get out of IDU and perform well. Just like the President did mention, I think we need to change the way we have handled the sugarcane industry. And this is a great opportunity for those who want to uh, invest in sugar in sugarcane and look at diversification so that we are not only talking about sugarcane, I'm mean not talking about sugar, but other products, about seven products that we get from uh, sugarcane. We are also very good in coffee and um, tea. In fact, Bungoma produces the best coffee, which is used around the world to blend other coffees in Cheskaki area on the slopes of Mount Elgon. Therefore, we will want to invite investors to come so that we can also be able to process our coffee because as we talk now, most of our coffee is taken to central Kenya for processing and we have a big opportunities to be able to process our coffee in Bungoma. We also have tea in Mount Elgon. Again, we would like to invite investors because we can also have industries to process tea. One of the best teas uh, that this country has in Bungoma. Uh, what I will urge is that we need to move with speed, of course, uh, to have uh, the investors in the industrial park to come in early and engage farmers. Uh, if they want to do contract farming, this is the right time to do it so that by the time we are done with the construction works, uh, the investors can come in and they will have raw materials from, uh, from farmers. We have uh, the largest avocado tree nursery I think in the, in, the, in the western region, located just near, near the park. And uh, we're really encouraging investors in the avocado uh, value chain for export, for extraction or, uh, of, uh, uh, of oil to come in and take advantage of this and help to sign in farmers in contract, uh, in contract farming. And for you to make progress in agriculture, environment becomes extremely important and that is why we have some uh, progressive uh, initiatives that protect our water catchment areas i know we have around seven water catchment areas in the country kamega we are more concerned about mount elgon a uh, water catchment area and of course uh, the mao water catchment area uh, which uh, make sure that our river Yala and river Nzoya we get water. And for us to get sufficient water, we have a responsibility to conserve our environment. And that is why we have specific uh, environmental interventions to deal with climate change. In Kakamega, we are very focused on fencing our Kakamega forest. Uh, this is the only our remaining existing equatorial uh, tropical rainforest in East Africa. At the moment, the forest is around 117 uh, kilometers. We have done uh, 15 kilometers of fencing. Uh, in the next two weeks, Governor Otichilo and I will be launching a program uh, to fence uh, 30 kilometers. We have already mobilized almost 100 million Kenya shillings, and we are calling upon our a potential investors, environmental enthusiasts to support the efforts of the two counties, Viga and Kakamega, and to conserve our forest. At least with the pipeline, we have an oil JT Uhuru One revitalized. So the transport with the uh, Nakuru to Kisumu, with that there, and we have Keda that is dealing in ceramics, 